Hey, it's Aran here. In this tutorial of System.io, I'm gonna share with you how to use the personalization feature in your email marketing and how to test it correctly. So I'm gonna share my screen and show you. This is my system account. Now, I'm gonna create a test newsletter. Now, before I do that, I want to show you a couple of things. First of all, you want to create a tag specifically that is called test. And this test tag, you're gonna subscribe to it. So this is one person that is subscribed. Now, the way to subscribe them is you basically go right here to tag. You're going to search for the tag hover to test and you'll see that I have this test. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find a different one because I don't want this specific one because this is a different test that I did with somebody else. So let me just delete this one. If you wanna untag somebody, I wanna show you how to do that as well. Click on it and then untag basically like that. Click on save. Now I'm gonna go to one of my emails, which is this one and then uncheck this. Now I'll find my email right here. Now I'm gonna click on it. You'll see it's called email test, that's the first name. And I'm going to add a tag, which is called test. Click on save. Okay, so now I've basically created one email address for the one tag. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to email newsletters. I'm gonna create a newsletter and I'm gonna call this test personalization. I'm just gonna use classic editor for the sake of demonstration. Now you'll notice here that I can choose which tag I wanna use and I'm going to find the one that says test. You can see it's all by, um, by order in terms of the, the words, right? So here's T and I'm gonna say, hey, and then you'll see here first name. Now you'll notice that there, these are the substitutes available. Now what you can do, you can actually just copy all this for the sake of demonstration like that and we'll post it like this. So that way you'll know which is which. Now it's basically going to pull whatever information that is available. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to now send this as a test email and you'll see, I'm gonna click on save and schedule. I'm gonna click on the send test. Now a test has been sent to this email address. So I'm gonna go there now. Now what you'll see is that because it's a test email, it doesn't actually specify the name. It just shows what was copied. So now, how can you know that this is going to show up correctly? I'm gonna show you right now. So we're gonna go back, and now, because we actually set it up, that it's gonna to go to the one tag, right? Notice that we already did one test, so it's gonna to go to one email and that's it. Now I'm gonna click on Save and Schedule, and I'm gonna click on Send. I'm gonna click on Yes, and now I'm gonna to go to the email address, now you'll notice here that it's not been sent yet. So I'm gonna refresh, refresh. So you'll see now that I sent the email, email sent, only one email was sent. Now you'll see right now that there's no open. I'm gonna click here and now you'll see that it's open. I'm gonna refresh and now you'll see it's 100% open because it was just open. And then you'll notice that everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be. So notice the difference. When you're just sending a test email, then yeah, it's gonna come up like this and it's not actually going to say the name. But when you do a proper test, when you actually send it to a real email address, it will actually show the correct name. So you'll notice if you go to contacts that the name of this email address that I set up is called email test. And the last name is testing. And you'll basically see that it pulls all the information and puts it here basically. Because there's no information, then there's no data being pulled, but otherwise the data will be pulled there. So that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate it. So if you have not used system or haven't tested it out, you can actually create a free account. You're missing out big time. It is a great software. And all you gotta do is go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO. That will take you to the system page. You enter your email, you create a free account, take it to a test drive. And when you feel confident like you're ready to go and this is a good tool, the pricing is simply $27 a month or you can also get $197 a year, which is pricing is not available on their website, but I have a special link for that if you wanna take advantage of it. It's actually 10 times cheaper than the bigger competitors and so on, and it's a really good plan. So if you wanna check it out, uh, go to rambukai.com forward slash SIO and let me know once you had a bit of a look around. 
Uh, that's about it. If you have any other questions or tutorials that you'd like me to make on System.io, definitely let me know. Leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.